If you're looking for a ball trimmer, I bought six of them to test them out to see how they stack up. All right, so first up, we have a trimmer from Balls Co. Now, this little guy came from the UK, so it was dead on arrival. But after a quick charge, I was able to test it out. It features a very narrow ceramic blade and has two reversible guards cutting at three, four, five, and six millimeters. Now, the shortest guard at three millimeters is a pretty big jump from the about half millimeter length you get when you're cutting without a guard. So you can go from about a half millimeter to three and a half millimeters when cutting with the smallest guard. This is a very basic trimmer, and I'm not sure it's worth the $69, especially knowing that they would kindly sell to me for $59 if I sign up for their blade subscription. With international shipping, don't expect this guy to arrive too quickly, but with DHL, it also wasn't unreasonable either. Being so simple and so expensive, I can't think of a single reason to buy this trimmer. Oh, oh wait, I, I, I have one. If you're in the UK and can't find anything else. Next up, Happy Nuts. This is called the Ball Burr. Now, this is a thin blade style trimmer copied from the Philips One Blade. I've tried trimmers with this style of blade several times and they do cut extremely close, but one thing I've noticed about the very small teeth is they do get bogged down in thicker hair. Well, this blade style might be good for very fine nut only trimming. The thicker pelvic pubes may bog this trimmer down, causing some snagging and pulling. So here's where it all goes wrong. When I first pulled this guy out of the box, I tried snapping one of these guards on, which snapped on pretty easily. When I tried to pull it off, I snapped the, the head off of this trimmer and broke a tiny little plastic nub right here that holds the blade on. So in about uh, five seconds of having this out of the box, I've made this trimmer completely worthless. So I can't possibly understand why anyone would pay $70 for this trimmer when you can buy a Phillips one blade for about 35. Now I've used this trimmer extensively and can tell you that every part of this trimmer, including the blade, the handle, the battery, uh, feels better and is designed better than the ball burr. So um, if you're looking for this type of trimmer, just go with the Phillips one blade for $35 and never consider that happy nuts. Uh, that's a lemon. Next up, we have the Ballsy B2 trimmer. So this trimmer was very unique in our test is it was the only one to come with two different heads. So they have uh, the very, very fine metal blade head, which they call the ball head, and then the sort of standard ceramic blade, which they call the body blade. With this snap-on style head, there's usually a little more noise and vibration than other trimmer styles. But to be honest, this actually feels pretty good, especially with uh, the ceramic snap-on blade. Um, very little extra noise when you snap that one on. So the ball blade did a very good job on very fine hairs like this on my arm here, but it did start to pull and snag when I used it on coarser hairs uh, on my face. So blades with really tiny teeth like this have their limits, and I definitely found it with this one. Now, I don't wanna knock a company for including an accessory that you may not use. So if you don't want this to pull thicker, coarser hairs, then just don't use it and stick with their ceramic blade. The shape and the grip on this trimmer feel good, and on most metrics, including the guard lengths included, it's very comparable to almost all the other trimmers that we tested. That said, there's nothing about this trimmer that stands out, making the $70 price tag feel a bit high. So again, not a terrible trimmer, but I also don't have any reason to recommend it. All right, next up is the Meridian trimmer. So for a very basic trimmer, there's a couple things about the Meridian that I liked. First of all, it's got a battery meter, which doesn't sound like much, but a lot of the other trimmers in our test did not have that. So one other thing I liked about the Meridian was the fact that the blade uh, hinges back here and doesn't completely pop off. So this can make it easier to clean out this back cavity, which is a spot on all of these trimmers where hair can eventually get caught. You don't have to clean this out very often, maybe every month, every couple weeks, uh, depending on how hairy you are, but um, hair does get caught back here. So this, this popping this down makes it a little bit easier to clean out. So with this blade that pops out, one thing I wanted to note uh, is the lubrication on this blade. So uh, all these come from the factory with a lot of lubrication on there. And uh, I wanna note that if you are rinsing these underwater, there's a good chance you're gonna wash that lubrication off uh, over time. So if you're gonna rinse it, dry it out really well and add more lubrication back to the blade. The Meridian trimmer comes with two reversible guards uh, cutting at three, six, nine, and 12 millimeters. So with this one, the guards do go up to a, a very long length. 12 millimeters, really not practical. Pra, pra, eh? yeah. 12 millimeters, really not practical for cutting any type of body hair. It's really just too long. And again, that same range problem as the other trimmers with the trimmer without a guard cutting at about 0.5 millimeters and then jumping all the way up to 3.5 millimeters with that first guard on. 
All right, so at $74, it's pretty expensive for such a simple trimmer, and I don't love the fact that they wanna charge you an extra $8 just for another one year extended warranty. That should probably be included anyway. If you want a more detailed review on how the Meridian trimmer stacks up against the Manscaped, check out that video linked in the description below. All right, next up we have Nuts. So I'm a little confused here. I think the company name is Nuts. Um, the website is smoothnuts.com and the product is called, let me get this right, the trimmer is called the Ball Blade 3.0, unless you're a woman, and then it's called the Body and Bikini Lady Shaver. So this trimmer is very comparable to a lot of the other trimmers we tested today with a very short cutting ceramic blade, this one only including one little guard, and I'm not even sure what that cuts at. So um, one thing I wanted to note, I thought this thing was completely dead, as when I came out of the box, I would press the button, couldn't get it to do anything. Until my 10 year old son showed me that if you hold the button down for five seconds or so, it turns on. Now, why they do that, I have no idea. Uh, super annoying, but just note that, you actually have to hold that button down if you wanna get it to work. So this thing ships from the UK, is sold in pounds, and they charge for shipping, which would obliterate any savings there, there were. Um, overall, no reason to buy this. Can't find one reason to recommend it, except again, for that same reason. If you're stuck in the UK and can't find anything else, I guess it's between nuts and balls. This is the Brio Axis, and it's designed for guys with shorter hair. Now, while Brio doesn't market this as a balls trimmer, I thought I'd throw it in here for a basis of comparison. So one thing I wanted to point out is that the ceramic blades on nearly all of these trimmers is exactly the same. So they both are set at about a half millimeter and they're all about the same width and have the same rake material in the back. So not one of these blades is any safer or is gonna cut differently than another. So the Axis has a little bit more of a complete cutting range um, with the one to two millimeter guard. So there isn't quite that jump all the way up to that three and a half millimeters that uh, most of these other trimmers have. I also wanted to point out that the Axis is probably the only trimmer in this test that is not waterproof. And I wanna point out the fact that I highly discourage anyone from rinsing the blade underwater or trimming wet hair. So the other thing to point out that at $59, the Brio Axis is the least expensive trimmer in this test and is the only one not marketed as a ball trimmer. So looking around and knowing what other trimmers cost, it seems like just having the tag ball trimmer is making these things cost more compared to other comparable trimmers. Next up, the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0. So the Lawnmower 4.0 is another very basic trimmer, very, very similar to the others that we tested with a short cutting ceramic blade uh, that's fairly narrow. Um, one thing I liked on the front, there is a battery meter, just like the Meridian and the Access trimmers. Uh, it's always nice to have the battery meter right on the front there. Okay, so at first I was super confused about the Manscaped guards because there's two guards and they say that this is a three and six millimeter guard. So what they're doing here is the six millimeter is when you click this to the first setting, and then the three millimeter is if you push down further. Just something to note there, if you're going for the six millimeter and you push a little bit too hard, uh, it's gonna click down to that three millimeter setting. One feature to note on the Manscaped that I think is handy is the travel lock, but you have to press it the button three times to get it to lock, which is a little awkward, but overall I think a good feature to have. Just like the Meridian, I think that both of these trimmers could really benefit from having a one and two millimeter guard to give you that shorter cutting length, which I think is super important for body hair. At $89, this is the most expensive trimmer we tested. They charge you an extra $5 if you don't want to subscribe to their unnecessary blade replacement program. So you can get it for $5 dollars less if you subscribe and then I'd recommend immediately canceling. So here's how the pricing works down. If you don't want the subscription, you pay $89. If you do subscribe to the blade, you get $5 off. So as basis for comparison, the Brio Access trimmer is extremely comparable on just about all measures and is the least expensive trimmer in our test at $59. Okay, so conclusions. There's three trimmers right off the bat with this test that I can tell you to avoid. So the nuts and balls trimmers both come from the UK and are nothing special, really not worth the shipping time or any extra cost uh, for either of these two trimmers. So go ahead and avoid the nuts and balls. Also definitely recommend avoiding the ball burr trimmer. As I mentioned earlier, the Philips One Blade is a much better option buying this. Plus with this defective head, um, totally would not recommend buying it junk, avoid it. So for our remaining three trimmers, they're all very, very similar and, and are going to deliver essentially the same trimming experience. So don't really worry too much uh, about the minute differences between these. 
personally, I wouldn't pay a premium for a trimmer just because it's marketed as a ball or body hair trimmer because we found that in reality, they don't differ from other trimmers on the market. So for about $80, the Brio Beardscape is a much more powerful and versatile tool than any of the trimmers that we've talked about today. I am obviously biased because I did help design this trimmer. If you wanna learn more about the Manscaped versus Meridian trimmer or any of the other trimmers we've reviewed, check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.